um, this is the mixed book website. So a, what is a mixed book? Mixed book is an internet based photo design tool and photo production service. The photo editor tool is free, easy and fun to use to create professional photo quality photo projects. They have a large collection of stickers, graphics, and backgrounds to choose from. Once you're finished, you can print your project for a price. Accessing Mix, Mixbook and creating an account. So first go to www.mixbook.com. And let me just go to the homepage here where the photo books. So this is the homepage. This is, this is what it'll look like after you sign in. So they have designs for you and they have templates over here. So then you can choose a template and add your photos in. And if you do not have an account, you can click sign up at the top here. Okay, so you can either sign up with email and create a password or sign up through your Facebook account. The first time you sign up, you will receive a coupon for up to 50% off your first order. So if you don't have an account, you'd click sign up over here. But if you do have an account, you'd click log in. And then you'd log in using your email and password. And then you'd click log in to Mixbook right here. And it'll log you in. Now that you are signed in, you will be able to start creating a project. There are many different photo projects you could create, including photo books, calendars, and home decor. Today, we will be focusing on creating a photo book. How to make a photo book. If you put your cursor over the photo books tab, it will give you many different categories of themes to choose from. Let's select holidays. Now it will provide you with different format options for your photo book. You can scroll through to see them all and choose the one you like best. Click on the one you, on the one you like to get a quick preview. So here are a couple of the options. So these are just all holiday books. So for example, if I wanted to see this one, I click on it. And if you click quick preview, you can see a little bit of what the rest of the book looks like. So it just flips through like that. Choose the photo book shape you'd like. So here there's different shapes. So if you want it landscape or uh, I'm not sure what this is, this is horizontal or it can be like a square if you prefer that. At the top, it shows you the cost of the book and the estimated delivery date. So you can see that right over here. Click on full view product information to see all the details of the book and personalize the different options, such as choosing soft or hardcover. Once you've made the book changes you want, click start book. First, it will prompt you to upload the photos you want to use from your computer or your phone. Or if you rather, you can import them from photo from Facebook, Instagram, Google Photos, and SnugMug. So if I go add from desktop, I can add this photo, which is just our Cyber Seniors virtual background, but it will upload. So this is just an option to autofill your book. So I'm just gonna say yes, please. So then you can see what that looks like. Depending on the type of photo book you choose, you can add up to 40 pictures. Once the photos are uploaded, you can choose the option of the website autofilling them into the book or putting them in yourself. If you choose autofill, they will be placed in chronological order. Click the little arrows near the bottom to flip through the pages. So these are right here. and you can switch back and forth to look at them. You can also view the spreadsheets on the right-hand side of your screen. To alter the order, click and drag to move them around. 
So here are the different like templates they have. So if I wanted to move number two into number four spot, I could just hold down and move it down here into number four. So now when I'm on page four, I would have this template instead. You can add a spread or delete a spread to add more or less pages to your photo book. So if I click add spread here, I can click blank spread, which would give me just a blank sheet or a theme spread, which would give me another sheet with that theme or duplicate spread, which would duplicate whatever's over here. So I'm just gonna go with blank right now, this here. So then it would just give me a blank to edit text, click on the text box. So let me just show you an example. Okay, here, this is text. So if I double click on this, I can backspace here and I can type whatever I want. So you can add like your name, your friend's name, whatever you'd like. From there, you are also able to change the words and the color. So here, if you click on this, you can also select what color you'd like. And then here, it will give you the font size. That's mm -hmm. the size of the letters. And here, it's the style of the letters. So you can change that. I know they have a wide variety of fonts. You can also delete the text if you want to remove it. So if I click the, this button, it'll remove. So then it's not there anymore. Click and drag the photo you want to add to a specific page and insert it into your book. From there, you are able to edit the photo and move it around. So if I click photos on the side here, and then I select the photo and I drag it to where it says drop photo here, the image comes up there. To add more photos, simply click add photos. So you can click add photos and I'll say from desktop and I can select another picture and then it'll show up on the side here. Okay, so here there's layouts. So this is where you can select the number of photos you want, say four, and it'll give you a uh, different ways you can form the pictures. Here, this is backgrounds. So you can scroll through and change the background of the image. There are stickers over here. So you can add like different shapes. So say I wanted a star, I could drag it here, add a star on the side. Mm. And then text. And if I click add text, I can add words if I wanted to down here. And then again, you can change the color, the size, and the font of the text. When you are finished adding to and editing your photo book, click preview to see how it'll look. Right over here. So if I click preview, so this would be the front page and I can click through it. So usually you'd have all your pictures here, but right now I haven't filled it in yet. If you want to make more changes, click edit to go where you were before. So if I select edit, now I'm back to the normal page. If you want to share the, digi the digital preview of your photo book online for free, click share and then share your project here. So share, and then I'd select share your product, your project. Then you can enter your friends, email, your friends and family's emails or copy the link, link to share from another platform. So I can add them, notes. So to copy the link, you can just co click copy link and then paste that on something else, however you communicate, however you'd wanna send it. Okay. You can also invite other people to collaborate on your project. If you want others to help you make the photo book, book by clicking invite to edit like to edit so that's where you can add other people so again you just add your emails click invite to order to invite other people to buy a physical copy of your photo book so that would be right here invite to order
Now, if you want to order a copy of the book for yourself or to gift to someone else, press order. So order is in the top corner right here. So here you could again select your size. This gives you what different papers there are. So they have semi-gloss and platinum matte lay flat over here. And then there's different styles. So you can get a soft cover, a hard cover, or a hard cover with the soft touch matte, or a hard cover with matte dust with a matte dust jacket, or you can even get it in leather. So then once you're done, you'd click add to cart. So I'm going to click ship to Canada address because I am in Canada. So if you're not in Canada, then you should update to your country. And then I get the coupon code, which is the 50% off when I make a, a free account. So then you would click checkout over here. Okay, so the reason that it uh, you can't click checkout there, if you scroll up, you see the big red box at the top? So that's just a little warning. So it won't let you check out until you sign off on the fact that there are blank photo boxes. And it does this on purpose uh, to make sure that you don't accidentally miss a page and then create a book that where uh, um, there's photos missing. So okay. once you collect yes, then you're able to click checkouts. Okay. And then you would add all your information and select place order. Okay. And then to see all your existing mixed book books and, and projects, you click my projects. It saves automatically so you can go back to work on projects you've started a while ago. Click my photos to see all the photos that you've updated for different projects. So if I click, sorry, my photos up here. Click on account to configure your account settings like contact and payment info. So account is up here. And if I click settings, I can change my contact and my payment info. Click the help button to see frequently asked questions if you're having any issues using the website. So the help button is right up here. And click the little shopping cart icon to see your cart. So here are the frequently asked questions and if you click the shopping cart, I can see the book I added in my cart. And that's it.